First on five, remembrances are pouring in for one of the world's most beloved and mysterious authors, Lower Alabama native and resident Harper Lee. The author of To Kill a Mockingbird passed away early today in her hometown of Monroeville. News 5's Peter Albrecht has more. 55 years after it was first published, To Kill a Mockingbird still sells 750,000 copies annually. It's required reading in schools across the country and across the world. And until last year, it was the only published novel written by Harper Lee. Known as Nell, Harper Lee was born and raised in Monroeville, the town portrayed as Maycomb in the book. Her neighbor and childhood friend was acclaimed author Truman Capote. Lee attended Huntington College and the University of Alabama before moving to New York, where she took two and a half years to write Mockingbird. Published in 1960, it won a Pulitzer Prize for Literature in 1961. In our courts, all men are created equal. Adapted to a motion picture, the movie version of To Kill a Mockingbird was released in 1962 and won several Oscars, including Best Actor for Gregory Peck. By 1965, Lee was drowning in acclaim and attention and wanted out of the spotlight. She retreated to the protective lair of Monroeville, where for the last 50 years of her life, she refused all interview requests. Lee spent the last several years of her life in an assisted living center, according to reports partially paralyzed, deaf, and blind. She did something that in our society is unspeakable. She kissed a black man. Touching on issues of race and compassion, To Kill a Mockingbird has been cited by the Book of the Month Club and the Library of Congress as behind only the Bible in books that are most often cited as making a difference in people's lives. Atticus, do you think Boo Radley ever really comes and looks in my window at night? To Kill a Mockingbird has sold close to 40 million copies. According to court documents, Lee was still earning millions annually in royalties.